Hey, it's Matt. We're going to talk about how do you sell SaaS? It is completely different sales from original, normal, standard sales of other things. SaaS is a different ball game. Here is how to do it. Okay, everybody, I'm Matt Wallach, and I work with software founders and leaders to help them sell their SaaS really, really well. I'm talking close rates of 50, 60, 70% plus on your demos. Can you imagine closing one out of every two demos that you do? It is a lot of fun when it happens. Here is how you sell SaaS. Now, before we get into that, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I've got a lot of great things here for you to make sure that you have all the formulas, all the techniques, the methods, exactly what you can do to sell a ton of software. Also, if you really want to make sure that I know this is helpful, hit the like button right now. Go and hit it. That way I know this is good content that's gonna help you get where you have to go. And if you have any comments or questions, put those in the comments down below. I'll make sure I answer those for you. So how do you sell SaaS? Because it seems like it would be just like anything else. It seems like you could apply other traditional sales techniques to it, but in reality, you can't. Now for today, we're gonna to talk about B2B SaaS, business to business. So anything, if you're doing something for consumers directly, this will not work. We're purely talking about B2B SaaS. How do you do it? Well, one thing that I have found that has been really helpful for me and my teams is to follow a process. This is a process that I developed over the years, learning how to grow my company and sell a whole ton of SaaS at very high close rates. We're talking 50, 60, 70%. In fact, one of my teams got to 81% close rate, closing four out of five demos. We developed a process. It's called the perfect deal process. I'm gonna walk you through it. The perfect deal process, that deal is an acronym, D-E-A-L. It stands for something. And what it means is you're gonna be able to put this process in place and make it scalable and repeatable. So let's go through each letter by letter. The D is for discover. You have to be able to learn about your prospect. You have to qualify them. You have to make sure they are a fit. And you really got to dive into exactly what's important for them. You've got to know what they care about, what they're hoping for, what they're trying to achieve, what they're worried about. All of that is critical. You need to ask them questions. You got to ask the right questions that are going to get you the right answers. It's very, very important to do this. We wanna go beyond just learning if they're a fit for us. We need to understand exactly what's happening so that we can make sure our product matches them and so that we can show them exactly what's important for them in the future. But in the Discover, it's the foundation. It's where you can really set up all of your entire sales process. This is going to be how you're gonna do it. You're gonna walk them through with specific questions that you should have diagrammed out, exact methods for understanding where they are now and where they're going to be, and you need to make sure they get emotional. They should leave the discover phase hating their problem more than when they came in. And all of that is based on how you dive deep and how you can twist the knife to make sure it happens. So the D is for discover. Now we move to the E. E is for educate. It's critical to be able to educate your buyers on multiple different things. One, there should be some sort of transformational shift that's gone on in your industry or in culture in general that you can educate your buyers on and let them know that they need to make sure they're making the shift. If they don't make the shift, then they're going to fall behind. So we need to educate them. You also want to make sure you're telling them a little bit about you. Too many times people jump on a call and they don't even introduce themselves. They don't say who they are or what they're doing there. So share your personal why. Why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you on the call? And when they hear from you, it's going to make it easier for them to open up and they're going to connect with you more. And connected buyers buy more. So educate them on something and share a little bit about you. You'll do very well in the educate phase. Okay, we're halfway through. We've done the D and the E. Now we need to focus on the second half, the A and the L. Before we do that, if you're liking this so far, hit the like button down there. That'll really make sure that I understand if this is helpful for you. Okay, now let's talk about the A. A is for associate. In the perfect deal process, this is where it really all comes to head. The associate is what most people consider their demo. This is where you go in and show the product. But what most people do, which is just show the product and walking through the features, 
isn't nearly enough. You need to connect, you need to associate how your product is going to help this buyer. So connect it to their problems that you learned in discovery. Connect it to the education you've given them about the transformational shift that's happening in your industry. Show them that all of those problems and challenges they're seeing and all the new things they're learning, this is the answer. This is what's going to get them where they have to go. If you can associate that, now they're seeing your product as their fuel, their ammunition for moving forward so that they can do it full speed ahead. It is critical that you do this, but too many times our demos are way too formulaic and already set and we don't really think about how we can make it personalized for this person. If you can do that, you're gonna be fantastic. Okay, we've done D-E-A, now it's the L. L is for lead. Lead as in take charge, take control. You be the leader. Lead them all the way through every step and make sure that you're getting them to each step. When you are in control of the sales process, you are going to do very, very well. Too many times I see people not controlling, not taking charge because you think that it's okay for the customer to do it. It is not. You as the salesperson in this situation needs to take control of every call and the entire process as a whole. If you can do that, you're gonna lead them right to the close. So there you have it. D-E-A-L, discover, educate, associate, and lead. If you can do all four of those really well, you're going to close a lot of SaaS business. You're gonna get your product taking off and you are going to succeed. Speaking of succeed, I hope this was helpful for you. It helps you get to success. By the way, I have a course that walks you through all of these, making it really, really simple. It's called Software Demo Secrets. It actually goes through the perfect deal process showing you exact tips and methods to do each of these phases. That way you can make sure your demos are crazy impactful and you've got a lot of people excited and signing up in big numbers. So hit the link in the description. You'll see an introduction to Software Demo Secrets. Go ahead and take that course. It's a great way to learn more about how you can accelerate, how you can close a lot of SaaS deals. I'm Matt Wallach. I hope this has been helpful. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Take care.